Thank you for your interest in the CCQ800 Auto Lens Meter by Yeezen. Um, this lensometer is, uh, is sturdily built around the uh, Shaq Hartman image sensor, so this is going to be much more accurate and uh, faster than most others. Um, it also uses a green LED light versus white. Um, and uh, this is different uh, and, and better because uh, you're going to get more accurate measurements of all the different types and brands of progressives. Uh, uh, you're going to get um, fast and precise identification of the lens type uh, plus an excellent response time. And um, you're going to get uh, increased accuracy when you're reading the new digital surface freeform lenses. This uh, lens meter also gives you um, the ability to use the PD meter, so you have an option to use that or not use that, but you do have the PD meter and it's going to give you the pupillary distance on each side plus the uh, OU, also it will give you the pupillary height. This instrument will also measure the UV transmittance and it's also EMR ready. So now I want to show you a little bit about the software briefly and uh, we'll move on to that right now. Okay, looking here at the software screen, uh, you're going to see it's organized very nice, and it's got a uh, basically what you see is what you get uh, a GUI interface. But your left side, left eye readings are going to be here. Your right eye readings are going to be here. Um, you do have um, you have tabs along the right that are going to allow you to delete uh, previous measurement uh, if you haven't printed or cleared it already. You can hit print and print out on the tape, or you could also export to EMR. Uh, you have a button to be, that you can go between automatic and manual mode. That is uh, automatic capture in, uh, or manual. Uh, you have a button on the front, down at the bottom of the instrument, that uh, near where the glasses are red, that you can hit when you're in manual mode to take the reading automatically or manually. You also have a um, settings wheel here where you can go into the settings and you can change the date and time. You can go and tell, tell what kind of lens it is, uh, set up the communications for EMR and so forth generally you won't have to spend much time in there. Around the software you'll notice uh, um, your time, your number, um, you can adjust your volume, your beep volume, you can adjust your um, um, your brightness of the screen. Uh, you have different modes you can go into. You'll normally stay in normal mode. Um, you can also go into the PD and PH mode, which when you do that, then you have to use the PD meter. And then you also have a UV mode, uh, if you just want to measure the transmittance of a particular lens. But in most cases, it will be left in a normal mode. Here, you can change between right eye, left eye, or as we have it set here with right or and left, it will automatically change between eyes after you're done reading. And then this button here allows you to switch between single vision, progressive, or automatically identify the lens. So when you put a lens underneath, it will either stay in the single vision interface or it will automatically switch to the progressive interface when it recognizes what type of lens that is. Up top you can uh, tell it what um, precision you want. Quarter diopter over standard if you want. Uh, up here you can turn on if you want the um, if you want prism mode in in what stuff, what model or mode, and then plus or minus cylinder or both uh, up top. And that's pretty much your settings. Uh, some lenses you'll have to jump into the settings real quick just to uh, switch it maybe to uh, bifocal or trifocals, but uh, uh, very quick, very easy. Uh, so now what I want to do is move on to uh, measuring a couple different types of lenses, and uh, we're going to take and go and do that right now. Okay, now let's go through and measure a few pair of lenses just to show you uh, um, how to operate the software in the machine here. Uh, we're going to start with a single vision pair. If you notice, I am in the automatic uh, detection mode, and in auto, uh, A stands for auto there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in the right eye glass. I'm going to find my optical center. It turns blue, grabs it automatically, memorizes it. Now it switches to the left eye. I'm going to put the left lens in, go to my center. Finds optical center, turns blue, beeps, it's now saved both readings. Okay, so now I can either print that, delete that, or send that to EMR. I'm going to delete that by hitting the trash can button. 
And now what we're going to do is measure a pair of progressives. I'm going to put the right eye of the lens in for the progressives. Watch the software. Now notice it's a progressive. So now I'm going to go up and grab to my distance. I'm going to go right up the channel. You just put the plus on top of the plus. Sometimes it'll read automatically, sometimes it won't. But you can hit the button if it does not. Go to the other eye. Again, measure the distance. Go up the channel. Put the plus over the plus. Either wait and let it grab automatically or just push the button you're on your own. And that's how you measure the progressive. And again, it auto detect that. Um, again, I'm going to delete that now. Um, also, now if you want to do a, uh, if you have a bifocal lens, um, which I have here, uh, what you want to do there is you're going to go into the uh, settings menu and under multifocal lens, you're going to select bifocal, select OK. And now you're going to come back and you're in the uh, bifocal mode in manual. So you're going to use your button to cap to grab the image or to grab the measurement. So you're going to go to the distance, find your optical center, hit the button, go down to your add, and hit the button and memorize that. Move to the other eye, find your optical center, go to your add, memorize that. And that's how you measure the bifocal. Now if you have a trifocal, which I don't have here, but I'm going to simulate it with these bifocals, you're going to go into your menu again. Instead of bifocal, you select trifocal, hit OK. And now you'll notice you have your sphere cylinder axis, and then you both add 1 and add 2. So I'm going to go to my distance, get my optical center, grab that reading, that measurement, go to my add 1, measure here, and then you move to your add 2 and measure that as well. So you have your both ads there. Uh, left eye, optical center, grab, near, one, and two, grab, and there you again, you're all set. You can either print that or send it to your EMR. Um, I'm going to go back into the menu. I'm going to go back to single on the multifocal, hit OK. And this is back where we started where we can go now to the automatic detection with the automatic um, um, memory measurement. I also want to show you too with the uh, uh, polarized sunglasses a lot of lensometers have a hard time with these. Uh, with this one no problem. I'll just put the lens under. It recognizes it's progressive. Um, grab the distance automatically. Go up to the add. Um, and I'm going to grab this automatically because it's sitting right on the edge of the thick frame. Go to the other eye. And um, Again, get your distance. And then your add. And that's how easy that works. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you have any further questions, uh, would like to give us a call. Um, our phone number is one 800 Four one seven, eight one three six, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Take care.